in this uh, video we will consider uh, the reflection of plane wave uh, from dielectrics using a uh, oblique incidence. We have already studied the cases of uh, normal incidence and uh, this is uh, the case uh, for uh, other than normal incidence that means slanted uh, incidence or oblique incidence. This video is uh, uh, being made in uh, two parts. The first part uh, is uh, uh, discussing the Snell's law uh, uh, and uh, the, how the uh, incident uh, angle theta i and theta r, the reflected angles are related and uh, also determines the uh, general uh, uh, reflection coefficients uh, part. Now the second part of this video is uh, discussing the two special cases of uh, parallel and uh, perpendicular incidences. So uh, we will uh, see the uh, equation uh, but how to derive the equation for the uh, Snell's law. Now here we consider two media. There is a medium one having uh, the media parameters like mu1 epsilon1. Here is medium two, mu2 two, epsilon2 two. and this is the uh, this uh, plane separating the two media. The incident ray incident rays are uh, uh, are reflected obliquely to this uh, interface and uh, these rays are uh, reflected from the inter from this uh, interface and uh, part of this uh, incident wave is also reflected into the second medium now we will try to see the uh, uh, Snell's law and uh, how these uh, incident uh, angle theta i and theta r are related. Now, uh, if we observe uh, from these uh, waves here, uh, we, waves in medium 1, like we see this A1, B1 is the distance traversed by the wave in medium 1 and in the same time the wave had traversed in medium 1 from A to C1. So these both have to be equal. So we are equating A1, B1 equals to A to C1. And uh, you can write the value A1, B1. A, A2, B1 sine theta, A2, B1 sine of theta i, the incident angle. And uh, uh, A2, C1 as A2, B1 sine theta r. So this gives us uh, this uh, A2, B1, A2, B1 cancel if the sine theta i equals sine theta r or theta i equals theta r that means the uh, incident uh, angle angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection now we'll see uh, the how uh, uh, the when the wave traverses into the second medium being refracted that uh, what is the corresponding relation now a1 b1 is the distance traversed by the wave in the medium 1 and the same time the distance traversed in medium 2 is A to B2 and uh, since these distances traversed are proportional to their velocities equals to V1 by V2 this V1 and V2 are related to media parameters so equal A1 B1 equals to root epsilon 2 or epsilon 1 again we are writing the values for A1 B1 and A to B2 what we get here this A to B1 will cancel we will get sin theta i over sin theta t equals root epsilon 2 over epsilon 1. That means this is basically the Snell's law. Uh, it says that it is relating the angle of incidence to angle of reflection, refraction uh, with the permittivities of the two media. Uh, there has been the corresponding relation in the optics uh, relating the um, uh, refractive indexes of the media and uh, angle of incidence to angle of refraction. 
Now that has been very popular, so this tense law is related to the permittivities in this case, the media. Now, what we observe here is that in general, most of the dialectics have uh, mu1 equals to mu2 equals to mu0. So taking this into account, uh, uh, we can write the relation for reflection coefficient that ER over EI that ER is a reflected electric field and EI is an electric field, the ratio is the reflection coefficient. This ET over EI gives me the transmission coefficient and this relation uh, could be very easily derived. You could see uh, any reference on the uh, uh, any reference on the book on electromagnetics. This relation is uh, very well uh, taken care of. So this common relation which is uh, indicated here this relation is used for further special cases. So try to uh, remember this relation because this is uh, further used. Now uh, uh, this involves uh, two cases uh, of uh, uh, oblique incidence. One case is where E is in the plane of incidence. We call it as a parallel polarization. And the second case is where E is normal to the plane of incidence, we call it perpendicular polarization. Uh, there are another notations like vertical and horizontal polarizations, but uh, I find or uh, I think uh, this uh, nomenclature of uh, plane uh, parallel polarization, perpendicular, perpendicular polarization uh, uh, seems to be the best uh, notation which we could uh, remember for these polarizations. Now, um, these polarizations uh, we'll discuss in the next video where we'll try to see that what are the special cases and what are the special, um, uh, special angles uh, which are involved uh, in these two cases. Thank you.